hello everyone this is the second video lecture on setup and hold time analysis here we are going to study positive negative and zero setup and hold time analysis and this is the vlsi basics let's get started <music> what is positive negative and zero setup time and what is positive negative and zero hold time why we check setup at next stage only and why we check hold at same edge only this is the basic circuit that we have discussed here uh, in the previous slide we had defined about the setup time of through the gear through the in inverter delays and transmission gate delay and similarly the hold time uh of the transmission gate delay and the uh and the combination logic delay of the incoming circuit we will see it uh again but first we defined what are the positive negative zero setup and hold time now what is positive time setup time through the basic definition it is nothing but data uh, that uh, the data should be stable uh, before the rising of the clock edge if it is a positive edge trigger flip flop so it can change any any uh, any much uh, any times the uh, data can change uh, as it wanted but it should be stable before that setup time so that no matter stable state should occur, uh, should occur the matter stability we will discuss in our later slides uh, in our later videos now what is the negative setup time the negative setup time uh, is the time required after the rising edge of the clock edge if it is a positive sticker flip flop so our data can change any much interval of time uh, before the setup time uh, and what is the zero setup time that at the same edge of the clock rising edge of the clock our data should be stable before coming to the rising edge of the clock hence it is a zero setup time now similarly what is positive hold time that positive hold time is the time required by a circuit uh, so that it should be stable uh, after the rise uh, it should be stable after the rising edge of the clock if it is a positive as ticket flip flop and similarly we will define the negative hold time that our data should be stable uh, before the negative hold time and it can change any inter uh, and data can change as much any time it as it wants but it should be stable before the whole time uh, and zero whole time is nothing but the data should be stable uh, at the same edge uh, of the rising edge of the flop and it should be stable before the rising of the uh, edge of the flop and it can change any much of time or toggles and at a managed of times as it wants after the whole time we should not confuse between the uh, positive setup and negative hold time uh, and negative setup and positive hold time uh, the basic much difference is between the toggling of the data we at, uh, as we can see in the slides here the data can be toggles after the clock edge whereas in hold in set zero setup time data can be toggled before as much as is wanted but this is the analysis theoretical analysis but how it practically works we will see through a flip flop level uh d flip flop level gate okay now we will define as in a previous video we had seen that what how we define the setup and hold time through the transmission gate delay and inverter delay if you have not seen then check it uh, the uh, first we define the setup uh, setup time of this circuit uh, this is the transmission gate with uh, some transmission delay of tc we assume that it is nothing but 2 nanosecond take example 2 nanosecond and now let the uh, the inverter's gate delay will be in we will change accordingly to us 
i n and in a previous video we had defined that it should the data should arrive at this point before the transmission gate delay okay so we will define the setup time as tc uh, minus two times of inverted gate delay ye this minus sign will come <coughs> if a data arrives earlier then the transmission gate delay okay uh, it is necessary to note that why should minus sign will come the minus sign is for early the data is arriving at c point before the transmission gate delay uh, and that the transmission gate delay because occurs because the clock is converting from clock to clock bar this is the transmission gate delay okay now we see uh, we are taking as 2 nanosecond let a data arrive at point c at 1 nanosecond means both the gate transmission gate delay is combined is 1 nanosecond then we get a 1 nanosecond as a positive setup time now suppose if data arrives earlier than 2 nanosecond means the data is already present at 2 nanosecond earlier then before this clock changes to clock bar okay then the means that data arrives from here to here is very short is lesser than that of clock to clock bar or equals to that of clock to clock bar transmission gate delay then we get a 0 nanosecond then this means we can check we have to uh, make our data stable before 0 nanosecond or before the rising edge of that clock okay now uh, what happens if data arrives more earlier than we expected suppose the it is very low impedance path so that uh, uh, there should be the delay is negligible now suppose uh, we had 2 nanosecond of transmission gate delay minus 3 nanosecond is our lesser arrival time means our data is present earlier 3 nanosecond earlier than the transmission gate delay then we get a negative setup time okay now this will be quite confusing uh, because negative setup times will uh, not liable to occur why i will tell you because the clock to clock bar will itself occurs at 2 nanosecond then the data arrives from here then how it can be available at here at 3 nanosecond okay so this is more practically our setup will be positive only or it can be zero if we consider that the transmission and inverter delay to be the same okay now we will uh, see why we have to check setup at next edge only because we had some clock pulses like this okay now at first pulse the clock is converting from clock bar to clock okay see example just an example it is suppose then this gate will be on okay now our data travels from here to here okay and now data travels from here to here and the clock is becoming to clock bar then this will be on so our data should be available at here and it should not change at this much of time that means when again our clock is changing from clock to clock bar that is nothing but this edge 
okay therefore we had taken the setup check at next edge not at the same edge similarly we will see what is a hold time now we will define the hold time uh, first we will introduce some combinational logic delay before the circuit okay let it will be in and some transmission gate delay at uh, tc this will be let tc okay now uh, we will define that uh, in a previous video what is the whole time that it is the time that uh, data should be present here at point a before that clock to clock occur okay and data should be stable at point c okay now how this negativity uh, of and uh, zero and positivity of whole time occur it is mainly depends upon the arrival of data at point a at how much time it will arrive and also depends upon the transmission gate delay now whole time we will define as suppose it will be nothing but uh, assume that i n i n i n will be a time uh, that uh, we will take as negative plus a t c so it is nothing but tc minus in okay now suppose the data arrives at 2 nanosecond to minus 2 nanosecond will be let it will be a constant then we will change our transmission gate delay then accordingly you will understand how it will occur now let the transmission clock transmission will be 1 nanosecond hence we will get a negative set negative hold time what do you mean by that uh, this means that a, a clock transmission occurs before the arriving of the data at point a okay this is the proper definition of the negative hold time that the transmission of clock occurs before the arrival of data at point a this is the negative hold time similarly we will define uh, what is a zero hold time uh, it is nothing but you can all assume that uh, a data is arriving at 2 nanosecond okay and the clock to transmission clock to clock bar transmission gate delay is also 2 nanosecond hence we are getting a zero hold time similarly when a clock uh, when uh, data is arriving at 2 nanosecond and uh, clock transmission time is suppose 3 nanosecond then we get a positive hold time okay uh, so how we define the positive hold time that uh, data at point a is arrive before the clock transmission okay before the clock transmission that is nothing but a positive hold time and at the same at that of transmission is known as the zero hold time these are the proper definitions of set, uh, setup and hold positive negative and zero why they occur how they occur now why we now we are defining we have already seen that why we check uh, check setup at uh, next edge only now we will see why we will check setup a uh, whole time at same clock edge only because a data arrives here suppose a data arrives at point a okay as i have already told you the definition of the whole time it should be stable uh, suppose it will be a positive whole time then what it will be 
let the data arrives at point A before the clock transmission. Okay, so it means the data uh, that this edge. at this edge it will go from a uh, clock clock bar to clock uh, in order to be on so uh, or here we can see that it is nothing but the the this transmission gate will be on when it will be clock bar and clock clock is zero and clock bar is uh, nine means uh, clock should be zero means here hence it should be stable here which is nothing but after this edge or we should say here this I will make it properly it should be stable before the clock to clock bar occurs okay so this is nothing but the whole time and it should be checked at the same edge of the uh, uh, it should be checked at the same edge of that uh, preceding flip flop uh, that we are going to design uh, in our big big circuits that's all from my side thank you check out the link in the description for more updates